Hey guys, this is Marcus from Angle. Be sure to check out Loud TV. Don't fucking forget it. Marcus from Engel. So maybe you don't know this band, which is incredible. Maybe one of the best albums in the two last years. I must, I must admit. This album is not so fresh, maybe for you. No. But the guy who discovered this album is, uh, you know, it's still fresh. And uh, so um, tell us about the, the process of uh, recording. Of uh, this one? Yeah. Uh, we started working on it. Um, long time ago <laughs> uh, uh, in 2008 yeah uh, the songs were basically almost done by then we just uh, toyed around with it in the in the rehearsal room and then we uh, our former record label said that we can SPV SPV exactly they said that uh, short sure, you can go in and record a new one excellent so uh, we went in uh, to the studio, recorded this one, and uh, basically after that all hell broke loose. Yeah. With all the uh, SPV stuff, you know, uh, so it got delayed for a bit, yeah. to say the least. So we had a finished album, but we couldn't do anything about that. So we just had it in, in, in our back pocket for like <laughs> almost, what was it, two years? It's crazy. It was uh, rough times to say the least, but well, finally, Seasons of Mist took it and uh, we just got it out there. So thanks to Seasons of Mist, our friends from Marseille. Yeah. Uh, France, of course. And um, so, of course, Renault is really something special because, you know, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's really modern metal. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you come from. YouTuber. Yes. <laughs> so we can feel, of course, the YouTuber sound, and uh, but uh, you know it's really fresh, and of course because of the, of course the, the vocals also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, there is a, a great job on the vocals. Yeah. Really, really aggressive, and uh, he can sing. You know, uh, in a, in a, in a certain mood. You know. Mm, yeah. So this album is really, really. We got lots of variated vocals. Uh, when it, it was just uh, when we were in the studio recording the vocals, uh, no one else except Magnus and Tua was was in there and recording it. So I didn't really know how it would supposed to sound. Mm. So when I heard it, I was like, "Whoa, this is really cool!" So I was was like, "This suits the songs perfect." So what was the idea at the beginning of the of the band Engel? Basically, uh, I was playing in another band or another project with uh, our then or former drummer yeah. Mojo called uh, Notre Dame uh, a project that Snowy Shaw had yeah. like a shock rock band and it was uh, on Osmo's project exactly yeah yeah and, uh, and he basically asked me if uh, I wanted to do something because Nicholas had contacted him yeah. about putting another like band together or something um, and I got the, the demo tracks from Nicholas and uh, because he had them already done, you know, some some basic tracks, and I met up with him and uh, we talked about some stuff, and uh, it was exactly in the vein of oh the style that I that I wanted to play then, so I was like like this is really cool. I really want us to do something about this, and and he said like yeah let's 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 try it. Yeah, let's see it's how it works totally out. Totally the opposite from Notre Dame. Exactly. Which yeah, yeah, is, yeah. You know, it's very. Very strange metal <laughs> style. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And I had my my other band called The Crown yeah. for for like ten years or twelve years, and we had broke up and by then. So I was like, I was like, I you came in and yeah, yeah, yeah. So up. yeah, so so we just uh, we just decided to let's do something about this, and and uh, we got it together. We found a bass player and of course uh, a vocalist, Magnus, and stuff like that. So. Uh, we just started working on it and it sounded great so we said like hey let's let's do this and you you got a, a new drummer from uh, marionette yes uh for, we uh we four split, years something like this yeah we split for with our former drummer uh was it last year yeah yeah 
So uh, we found Jimmy from uh, Marionette. Um, They are all f French, French name. Marionette, Notre Dame. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's all about French, you know. <laughs> Between uh, the crown that you that were that is your past mm -hmm. and anger, which is your present and uh, future. I think it's it's uh, well. Basically, I know Nicholas used to play in another band called Gardenian and Gardenian. Yeah, incredible. And, exactly. Like and Sinterstreet's album. Exactly, and he had an, another band called, before that uh, who played. I guess it was death metal. It was all about death metal in the Gothenburg <laughs> area. Yeah. Um, I think we 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 both come from. I shouldn't say the same background, but almost the same background, and uh, I think it's just like, uh, and you have to like evolve somehow, and I think it's just like in, um, it, it, it's 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 like you, you take the death metal, but you refine it a bit, yeah, and you you do some you you put some grooviness into it. It's still like like we have all these like metal and, and death metal. You still riffing. can play fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still can <laughs> play fast though, but we, we we just refined it a bit. You can say that. We put some grooves into it and just like, like wanted it to be like groovier yeah. and and groovy but still rough at the same time. So I think that was 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 that is like the link between the death metal and the the, the uh, angle music. So you guys can change, in fact. Yeah, yeah, we, we we can we can definitely play like di totally different styles. But I know Nicholas has been playing that kind of style longer than me. And um, coming from the Crown, it was kind of hard in the beginning to to just trying to adapt to that kind of style. But nowadays it's perfect. It's a perfect style to play. Actually, it's, it's like yeah, you get you get the best of both worlds. So. <laughs> Let's remind that Red Odie. Yeah. is out on Season of Mist. The album was written uh, something like uh, three three years ago now. Oh, almost, yeah. So I suppose that you have new material and some we ideas have, about the future. Have, we have, we have. We got tons of material. Um, we've been like recording some stuff just to try it out and yeah. see what happens. Uh, Why not recording with uh, Peter? <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens, you know. The, we have some 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 ideas about the stuff, and uh, it's gonna be probably a release in uh, next in, year. Yeah, in in spring, somewhere. We we don't we're not extreme. We're not sure yet, but it's gonna be hopefully a release in spring. Okay. 